Did anyone notice that Pornhub in the past couple of years took, so, took away all their non-verified videos? Okay, great. Um, yeah, did, they did that to help combat human trafficking. And I was like, oh my God, Pornhub, I love you. That's amazing. And then I went on Pornhub and I was like, where are my favorite videos? <laughs> I didn't realize my favorite category was human trafficking. That's a bummer. <laughs> but I like it. Um, that's why I like this jail cell of a vibe. Uh, <laughs> behind me, very Chicago. Um, actually, okay, so I am kind of a hypocrite. Um, I've been really judgmental of anyone that listens to Chris Brown or R. Kelly. I've been like so pissed off. And then it came out that a Backstreet Boy has raped and I was like, we gotta separate the art from the artist. I, uh, <laughs> I like get it all of a sudden. I'm like, we have to think of the other boys. Um, they have families, like I'm not stopping. Um, I get it. Um, yeah, no, not judgmental anymore. <laughs> Don't want to be a hypocrite. So I actually have a Law & Order SVU podcast with my friend. It's called That's Messed Up, an SVU podcast. And then we research the crimes based on the, ep or the episodes based on the crimes. And so I research murder all the time and it does fuck with your head. Like I was in a cab once and the cab driver stopped and I was like, why are you stopping? This is not the address I gave you. I do not feel safe. And he went, we're at a red light. Um, <laughs> what do you want me to do? But then he did pee in a bottle in front of me. Done, done. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty fun. Um, okay, clap if you're a woman and you feel like you're ready. Uh, <laughs> Clap if you feel like 70% of your life is spent wrapping toilet paper around your hand and then wiping strange women's piss off toilet seats. Is that? Okay, the women not clapping. Obviously doing the pissing. <laughs> like, now you know who you're here with. That's, it, it is a, it's a true issue. There's so much piss on public toilet seats. It's like, it, it's horrible, because I'm like, feminism. And then I go to a public restroom, and I'm like, we don't deserve equal pay. <laughs> like, I <laughs> get it together. It, it's The worst, though, is when um, all the stalls are covered in piss, and then you have to debate which stranger's piss you'd rather touch. <laughs> That's a sad game show. There are no winners. Um, and, and you have to, like, debate things that you're, you, you don't really know the answers to, right? So, like, one, like one stall, there'll be less pee, but but there's loose hairs. And it's like, <laughs> is that good or bad? I'm not sure, I don't know. And then you go to the next one and it's like clean toilet seat, blood on the floor. <laughs> I hear noises, is it better or worse? Like, I don't know, like, I, I, would you rather sit clean, look at blood or blow loose hairs? And that's, <laughs> and that's this like little nightmare. And then the, the bar, like the bar is set so low that I'll get excited. Like sometimes there's pee just on the back of the toilet seat. I'm like, oh great, I could sit in the front. I'll work on my posture, fantastic. Like, <laughs> Yeah, and, and what sucks about all this is like, everyone's always just like, well, why don't you hover? You should just hover, just hover. Yeah, of course you shouldn't do that. That's what causes the problem. Like that is how the piss gets everywhere. If anyone was confused, like how does, yeah, the women are hovering. Um, it's like, they're, they think they're a drone and they, <laughs> Um, and so the piss is everywhere and I don't wanna, I also am like tired, I don't wanna hover. Like I don't, I don't need to do midday squats constantly and it's just, yeah, it's a, I'm also bad at it. I'm, I, I learned that young, I'm pretty self-aware and in high school I went to a football game and then I hovered in a porta potty and I peed on the back of my overalls and then I slapped them on my back. So, <laughs> once you um, whip yourself with your own piss, you <laughs> bow out of the hovering game, you know? <laughs> I gotta keep hovering. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, moving, <laughs> moving it along. Okay, this, uh, another one for, I think, the ladies. Um, what's more embarrassing, period bleeding through your pants or listening to one song by Ed Sheeran? What do you think? <laughs> What, what would you rather be seen in public doing? Like shape of you dancing or full blood coming out? Um, you're not, yeah, it's a Jiren, it's sad. Um, it's sad, someone gave his whole soul to songs and we're like, we'd rather bleed from our puss. Um, 
Oh, which reminds me. Okay, so I went to my um, I went to my friend's kid's school play. She was in Mamma Mia. It was really cool. She was ro- it was like a great show. But in the middle of the production, this kid is 12. In the middle of the production, um, she had a line where she said, "He can pepper my snapper." <laughs> Yeah, thank you, it's fucked up. Like, everyone at the school was chill. I was like trying to make eye contact, trying to connect. Like, this 12 year old just said pepper my snapper in front of the whole school, all families, everyone. Like, I don't know, I'm not an idiot. Like, I know it's a metaphor, but it can only mean jizz on a puss, right? Like, (laughs) is there another? option um damn your earrings are po- those aren't real diamonds right no you wouldn't be here at this uh, <laughs> hut um, um yeah dead bodies for sure no but this is hip i love these shows like they're always somewhere i don't know we're, we're hip and cool most of this country's trash like i'm sure you understand this is this is amazing. I travel. I'm out there. Like, it's bleak. It is bleak. I, I recently met a couple, and they were celebrating their 10-year wedding anniversary at an Applebee's. It's like, we're different. Like, I, I hate this. Like, we're all equal. No, we're not. Like, make a reservation. Get a ceviche. What the fuck? Like, it's been a decade. I... I <laughs> It's an event. It's wild. So yeah, Arizona is one of my least favorites. I would say. I don't know if anyone's from there, but oh, you have a whole full piece. You got Domino's? Hell yeah. Um, cool. Sponsor me. You know the worst is um, is when I think I get a text and then it's just Domino's being like, "I'm here." It's like I fucking know you're there. Like I think about you all the time. I. Ugh, it sucks. So I have been feeling really sick lately, and I did tell a friend. Uh, I'll go back to like shitting on Arizona, but I <laughs> have been feeling sick, and I told a friend, I was like, I don't know, what if I have diabetes? And he said, Well, are you losing weight rapidly? And I was like, Okay, I guess I don't have diabetes. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit, I don't know. I was so jealous of diabetics. Like, <laughs> they want so much sympathy. They're always like, We can't afford insulin. Shut up. Like, I am so over it. Just like getting thin, not even trying. Um, but I, I don't have diabetes. It's shingles. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. I'm, I'm on medication. Um, <laughs> what were we talking? Not Tom. Oh, Arizona. It's. Um, I just hate it because Arizona's filled with people that think that they're rich, but it's like you can't even afford to live by a body of water. I don't understand the cockiness. Like, I just don't get a Republican who can't afford a boat. I don't get that. Like, I don't. <laughs> Why? I, I, I don't understand. Like, if you have a boat, be a dick. Of course, you're better than us. You're gliding on the ocean. But <laughs> to be a boatless dick? I don't get it. I don't get it. Arizona, they're just leathery. They can't stop golfing. And they will fuck your wife. Like, they are... It's the home of swingers. They just put a rock outside their door, and you can go fuck them. It's like, it's wild. They're leathery. <laughs> yeah, leathery. No, Arizona, the worst place I've been to is Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, I, I was there for two days, so I was like, hey, what do I do for fun? And this guy said, there's um, a hole in the middle of the town, and no one knows how deep it is. <laughs> That was his suggestion. (laughs) There's a whole town and no one can measure a hole and they're equal to you. It's twisted. Like, it's twisted. I didn't ask for like off the beaten path. I'm like, tell me what to do. I just, oh my, it's it's bad out there. I, I have a theory. If you live in the middle of nowhere and you don't travel, your opinion should matter less. That is what I believe in. Cause what are you basing anything on? Oh, you don't like Muslims? Okay, well, they make me sandwiches in the middle of the night. Back the fuck out of my life. How about that? I just want an egg and cheese and light sexual harassment. Like, let me live. I want a man in a hairnet to hand me a sandwich as he touches my lower back. Like, that is what I live for. In New York, yeah, I... Is this relatable to anyone? Um, Has anyone ever gotten sexy photos texted to them and then the same day your friend gives birth to a baby and then all the photos save and then your phone looks like an investigation? (laughs) All right. Um, Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your show.